So let's talk about a couple things. Number one, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight graduates here. Um, we offer free quarterly returns. Um, so when you graduate, make sure you get in touch with us. It's to keep your skills sharp. Brendan and I are not fixing your dog. We're showing you how to do training. You got to keep up with it. If one of your New Year's resolutions, I mean, here it's the 14th of January, right? A New Year's resolution is to exercise more and to lose weight. But once you achieve that, you stop exercising and eat junk food all the time. It's going to go back the way it was. Um, something to consider. Upon graduation, if you're trying to get to the compliance stage, which I think is what was happening here, you waited for the dog to complete something, and if it didn't, then you press the button. It's far too early in training to think your dog knows how to turn, it, turn the collar off. Okay? Upon graduation, though, if you're going to go to compliance stage, you press the button only after the dog comply. Okay? But this is weeks and months after training. And then you can test it once in a while, but when you test it, you know how to fall back on the fundamentals so that you know your dog has a little bit of a refresher. Okay? Um, so, if you're falling on the compliance stage and you're not getting the results, you're not going back to leash guidance, you'll turn the level up, all right? So an 11 might have turned into a 20 because you got frustrated. Um, and then you see your dog doesn't want to train anymore because it sucks. The dog is walking around on eggshells because you're not helping it enough. This is mostly after training, right? After graduation. But so nobody falls into that problem Take a step backwards. If you're not getting the completion that you wanted, you're not getting the command that you wanted, go back to a leash, go back to guidance, go back to pressing the button very often at very low levels so that you know the dog understands how to turn this off. Okay? If you start cranking the levels up when you actually should be using leash guidance, the dog doesn't want to do this anymore. You get frustrated and then we hear back in a roundabout kind of way that the e-collar made your dog aggressive, afraid, and mean. That's nonsense. None of these dogs are afraid or aggressive or mean because of the e-collar. It's because somewhere along the line, the training that we taught you is not being followed. So, and that happens on graduation, after graduation, right? Everybody that's here all followed all of those guidelines, so they're getting great results and really continue results.